Good morning, everyone. Today we are on week number three on our road to monetization on YouTube. Today, we, again, we are on another walk and talk. I'm a little out of breath because I've just been walking uphill and then the rest of this is downhill. So hopefully I'll get my breath back in just a moment. But week number three on this road to monetization, I do believe my analytics has dropped a little bit. I don't know the true analytics right now, because again, I usually do this walk and talk, talk about what I've been studying, talk about what I've been learning over the past week and tell you how I'm trying to improve on YouTube to become monetized on YouTube. And later on, I will go home and look at the analytics. But I do look at the analytics as I go through the week itself. And I have a sneaky feeling that the momentum has dropped a little bit. But on the walk up here, I started it and I was feeling just a tiny little bit low about it. But then I still realized my last video at this moment has 71 views. But still, 71 people in this world want to listen to what I've got to say. And that actually just really enlightened me to think that is still absolutely crazy to me in a good way. That is absolutely amazing. So when you do look at the numbers, you can get a bit happy or upset, but you really always need to put it into perspective. So I do need to remind myself sometimes to put it into perspective. So today on my walk and talk again in Huddersfield, West Yorkshire, I'm right at the end of the hill here. So I'll give you a little turn around, show you the background. Look at that again, it's beautiful. Very similar to before on the last week's video. Last week's video was just filmed a little bit over that way. So the view itself, the landscape is very, very similar. Again, I hope, hoping today that I, well, I'm kind of hoping today I do get seen by someone because again, I need to keep testing myself on these walk and talks around people. And I'm going to try, if there is a person on this walk and talk, I'm going to try and be a bit louder and be a bit more filmy. Because last time I kind of froze in front of the people when they walked past and I gave them a little hello, but I did kind of freeze when it came to filming. So I'm going to try and keep up the filming if I do see a person, but it's pretty quiet around here today, to be honest. So I'm not sure I will get to see another person around here, but we'll see how it goes. What have I been learning? on YouTube this week. I'm gonna give you the background because the sun's at this side, I get more sun on my face. What have I been learning this week on YouTube? I have been learning that I need to get into YouTube Shorts. YouTube Shorts seem to be a really good idea promoting your channel. They do not seem to get in the way of your long form content. So I started doing YouTube Shorts. At the same time, I did get a message from someone that someone gave me a comment at a perfect time when exactly when I needed it to say, you have got this, you've got what it takes to get monetized on YouTube and then advising me to get into YouTube Shorts, which was exactly at the time I was just getting into YouTube Shorts. So I have posted a few YouTube Shorts. At the moment, I have not put too much time and effort into YouTube Shorts. I tend to film my long form content. I then select YouTube Shorts on CapCut and that will create a number of YouTube Shorts for me and I can, and I will watch through them. You'll get about 10 to 20 YouTube shots from the long form content that I've just filmed. So what I do then is I watch through all of the shots, see which ones I think are the best. And then I pop about two or three on there and I use them as adverts for the upcoming video that's about to be published. So I'm trying this out. We'll see how it goes. I initially noticed a positive response from the YouTube shots as in, I posted a few YouTube shorts and I got a few new subscribers straight away. I was quite happy with that. So it is something I'm going to keep on with and especially because the editing software itself makes the YouTube shorts and I don't really have to go too much out of my way to film another YouTube short, which is not exactly, which is not the content that I want to be publishing. I want to be publishing long form content. Also another change that I've made this week is to download the vidIQ app. Now it's interesting, I find it very interesting because one of the people, one of the channels that I follow that is hugely inspirational for me on my journey to YouTube monetization is a channel called Silver and Solo. I've watched her playlist on how to get monetized on YouTube quite a few times. And I found it very, very interesting. I thought I needed to watch her channel again. I needed to watch that playlist again. And it was extremely interesting that a few times I've watched it already, I never noticed that she downloaded the vidIQ app. 
and use the vidIQ software tool. I never noticed she, she did that before, but I guess that's because I was never ready to receive that information. But now I am. So when I watched, so when I watched the Silver and Solo playlist again, I noticed that she did download the vidIQ app. And I've heard a lot of people telling me when I'm doing my studies to download the vidIQ app. And a lot of the times I'm thinking, oh, okay, yeah, are you just trying to upsell me on something? I don't know, I'm not quite sure. Because the Silver and Solo channel is a channel that I trust and it inspires me, I decided to follow it and download the vidIQ app. I haven't had much chance to put it into practice. I have found initially it's extremely good at giving me really good title and grading and evaluating my thumbnails. And it's really good to know that the vidIQ app is really impressed with my thumbnails so far. It usually gives me a score of between 90 to 100% of the quality of my thumbnail. So that is really reassuring to know that this YouTube app that is created for the purpose of YouTube thinks my thumbnails are quality. So I'm really happy with that. It's that reassurance that I need that I'm on the right track with YouTube thumbnails. So at least I've got that down now. I'm very happy with it. And my future videos that are coming out, I'm really happy with those thumbnails and the video editing that's happening. What I haven't had a chance to put into practice on the vidIQ app yet is the keyword search. Everyone tells me I need to use the vidIQ app and use the keyword search. I already had plans to film a few videos, which I've now filmed, and they are going through the editing stage at the moment. So now those videos are filmed. Going forward, I will be using the vidIQ app to guide me on what kind of videos you want to see using keyword searches that is linked to my niche on my channel around financial independence, retiring early, frugal living, living a rich and fulfilling life around these topics. So I can put all these keywords in and the vidIQ will tell me what my competition is like on other videos on these topics. It will also tell me how many people are searching. So you do actually find there's a lot of people searching for a particular topic and there is not much competition. That is the goal I want. I want to be searching for a video that has low competition, but a high search that a lot of people want to see it and not many people are publishing it. That seems to be the sweet spot. Now that's pretty hard to do because a lot of people do have the vidIQ app and it's going to tell them what type of footage they want to see. So looking at the vidIQ app, within my niche, I do believe that there is low competition when it comes to frugal living, which is definitely within my niche. It's definitely part of my lifestyle. Living frugally, I do believe it is an evolutionary trait in humans to live frugally. So I will be releasing a video on that soon. I'm actually going to film it straight after this. It's gonna be a while before it comes out though. I imagine a couple of weeks before it actually comes out because these walk and talks are time sensitive. I need to film them and publish them straight away because they're time sensitive, they're weekly updates. So I do not put as much editing in these weekly updates as I do my other videos. So I will be filming the frugal living video straight after this, but it might be a few weeks before it comes out. And that'll be my first walk and talk video that's not part of this weekly update. So that'll be interesting to have a walk and talk video where I have the opportunity to fully edit that video. That'll be nice. But that is my updates this week. That is what I have been studying. I have been using the vidIQ app. It's quite daunting, the vidIQ app. At first, I really thought I was getting there and getting to understand YouTube and really knowing what YouTube wants from me. And then I downloaded the vidIQ app and I started to get a smidge of imposter syndrome again at this point. But I just kept telling myself, no, 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 it's fine. That happens all the time. But if I can wrap my head around this vidIQ app, I do think at that point, I'll be extremely comfortable with YouTube. And I'm sure from what I've heard that the vidIQ app is really going to accelerate and help me with my road to monetization because it's going to accelerate and help me understand what the algorithm slash audience wants to see on YouTube. So I'm really looking forward to getting practicing with the keywords. Everyone tells me, use the keywords. I haven't studied them yet. That is my job this week, is to study those keyword searches. See what the, you, the audience, want to hear. We'll go back to the home office now, and we're going to look at the analytics for this week, 
I do think we're going to have a bit of a drop on momentum, but that's okay. In perspective, I still think the amount of people that watch my videos is unreal. I would never expect this many people to want to see my videos. So we're going to go back to the home office now and look at the analytics for week three on YouTube on our road to monetization. So look forward to it. I hope YouTube is going to be friendly to me this time. So let's go back to the home office. We have finished our walk and talk and we're back at the home office now. Now it's time to look at the data analytics. Before I do that, I want to talk about one more thing that I forgot to mention on the walk and talk. During this past week, I've also upgraded to a pro version of my video editor cap cuts. I have upgraded to a pro version for two reasons. One, because the pro version allows me to edit much faster and allows me to create that content much quicker. And the other reason is because the sound quality is much better on the pro version. I can put some filter over the sound, make the sound quality much better. It's very important to me that the sound for you, the viewers, the audience is at the top quality. I want to make sure it hits your ear just right because it really can be off putting if you have a bad microphone and it'll give you a bad experience of this channel. So I have upgraded to the pro membership because of that. So hopefully you guys will see that improvement in future videos that are coming really soon. So let's now get into the data analytics. Over the past seven days, we have an additional five new subscribers. This is less than the 14 new subscribers from last week. And I've also lost a couple of subscribers over the last couple of days. I'm not sure why that is, there could be a few reasons. I did try a different microphone, which was terrible. It seemed terrible, actually. Uh, so that could be one of the reasons why I dropped a couple of subscribers. But still, we are up five new subscribers, which is a win in my book. It's going in the right direction. Total amount of views for the last seven days is 1.2 thousand views. Now, that is huge. I do think that's heavily distorted by the YouTube shorts that I mentioned that I've started to create, you often find that you get a lot more views from YouTube shorts as these are much smaller videos. So I do think this is distorted on previous weeks. The biggest increase that I'm super happy with is the total watch time hours of the past seven days. And we're now at 24.6 watch time hours. Increase in watch time hours is telling me that the size of the library that we have of videos plays a big impact on the watch time hours. I suppose it's pretty much common sense. The more videos that you have on your channel, the more likely people are going to be watching the different videos at different times and more people watching those videos. So there's definitely been a huge increase on watch hours over the past seven days compared to the previous first week and second week updates. So far, everything is moving in the right direction. I'm very happy with this so far. Still plus on subscribers, huge increase on views and watch time. Very happy with the stats this week. We've increased our subscribers, we've increased our views, and we've increased the watch time hours, which is all helping in our goal to monetization on YouTube. If you are liking this type of content, please do not forget to like and hit the notification bell. If you are liking this type of content and want to see my journey, on my road to monetization, then click on this playlist and watch the very first video that I ever published on my road to monetization. Maybe it can help you on your journey to monetization on YouTube if that's something that interests you.